Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code 75, a great playlist if you are interview prepping. And of course, I have that entire playlist linked down below too if you do want to follow along or just check it out. So what is this question? It's reverse vowels of a string. Given a string S, reverse only all the vowels in the string and return it. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and they can appear in both lower and upper cases more than once. So example one, we have hello, we just want to reverse the vowels. So instead of going H-E-L-L-O, we go H-O-L-L-E. And example two, we have leet code. So what are we doing here? We have L-E-E-T-C-O-D-E. -E -E. We just want to reverse our vowels, right? So we want this E to be that last vowel, this E to be the second to last vowel, this O to be our second vowel, and this E to be our first vowel. We're reversing the order in which they appear. The first vowel appears last and the last one appears first. So what we can actually do is just have two pointers left and right at both ends of our string. Now we're gonna move these pointers in up until they both hit a vowel. So the first vowel our left pointer would come across is this E over here. And the first one our right one would come across is this E over here. Once they're both at vowels, we just want to switch them. So this E gets this vowel here and this pointer gets this vowel over here. Now we move these down up until they point to new vowels. So we have E and O, and we just want to switch this again. So this becomes O and this becomes E. And we keep doing this, moving our pointers down up until they meet in the middle. And that's going to reverse all of our vowels. So in order to do this, the first thing I wanna do is initialize my left and right pointers. So left and right are going to be zero and length of S minus one respectively. Now while they don't meet in the middle, the two pointers, so while left is less than right, what do we want to do? We want to make sure both of our pointers point to vowels. So we could check, right, at every single character left and right are on, is it an A, is it an E, is it an IOU, and capital A-E-I-O-U. But instead of making all those checks, we could just store all those characters in a set. So I'm going to make a set called vowels and I just wrote it out over here. It's going to be A-E-I-O-U and also capital A-E-I-O-U. That's important. We don't want to forget this part. Now, all we have to do with this is check the character we are on with our two pointers if it is in this set. If it's not in this set, we want to move our pointers down. So if S of left not in vowels, we want to move left up. So it's going to be left plus equals one. And let's also do a walkthrough as we code this up. So say our input S is the following string. So we have left at this end over here and right over here. So left is at index zero and right is at index nine. Now S of left, this character T, it's not in vowel. So we're going to move left up by one. So left is now at index one and right is still at index nine. We go back in this while loop, right? Left is still not in vowels. So we move it up. It's now at index two. It's now in vowels. So this pointer is good but right is still not at a vowel. So we want to do the same check for our right pointer. So LFS of right, not in vowels. We want to move this down. So right minus equals one. So I'm going to move this down over here to this index eight. And now it points at a vowel. Now, once we go back in this while loop, none of these conditions will be true. Left is a vowel, right is also a vowel. So what do we want to do now? So else we just want to switch their values. We want what we have in left, to go in right, and we want what we have in right to go in left. But this is a string, which means it's immutable. We can't change the indices, the values, anything with a string. Instead, what we can do is convert our string to be a list. So what I'm gonna do is have S be list of S, which means S now looks like this. We have every single character in its own index, and left is at index two over here, and right is at index eight over here. At this point, we can switch the values of their indices. So S of left and S of right are going to equal S of right and S of left, respectively. This is just a shorthand way of switching values. We don't need a third temporary variable with this. So once we do this, this is going to get the U and this is going to get the E. We just switch these two characters. Now that they're switched, we still want to move left and right down. So we're going to do left plus equals one and right minus equals one. So now left is at index three and right is at index seven. We go back in the while loop, left and right still haven't met and we make a check. Is S of left not in vowels? That's not true, it is in vowels, right? So we don't want this if. We check over here, is S of right not in vowels? It is in vowels though, so we don't go in here either. And we're back in our else condition because both of these are vowels. All we do is switch their values. So this is going to get O and this is also going to get O, so really nothing is needed here. And we move left and right in again. 
So now left is at index four and right is at index six. I'm also writing these here just so it's easy to keep track of it. Now, once we go back in the while loop, left is still less than right. We make a check. S of left is not in vowels. This is true. So we're going to move left up by one. So left is now at next five. And since we went in this if, we don't go in this elif or else. It's one or the other. Go back in this while loop. Left is still less than right. And we make a check. Is S of left not in vowels? This is not true, right? This is a capital I. It is in vowels. So we don't go in here. We make a check here. Is S of right not in vowels? This is true. It's not in vowels. F is not in here. So we're going to move right down by one. So now this is also at index five. So now going back in this while loop, this is no longer true, right? Left is no longer less than right. They both are at the same index. So we exit this while loop. And this is going to be the list of our string with its vowels reversed. So at this point, what we want to do is put this together as a string again. So what we're going to do is return dot join on s. So we're joining this with nothing in the middle. And this is going to be one big string. So this is going to be our final output. And this has all the vowels reversed from this original string over here. This E went in the end over here. This O switched with this O. This I just switched with itself. Basically, it doesn't matter. This O went here and this U came over here. And this is going to be our output. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now talking about space and time complexity for this. For time, we start off at both of our ends and go through every single character up until we meet in the middle. Since we are going through all of our characters, if we have an input size n, our time complexity would be O of n. And for space, the only thing we're keeping track of is vowels. This has no dependence on how big our input is. And our two pointers left and right, again, it doesn't really matter how big our input gets. This is still going to be constant. So this is going to be O of one for space. Now we just did a complete walkthrough with this example over here for reverse vowels of a string. But if you have any questions whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.